honking at? Is that you? That's my. Oh, I'm like, what are you honking at, man? <laughs> the dog? Hunter is a farmer unlike any I know. He custom cuts with a combine he bought for $20,000. It's a 1996 John Deere 9600. Working with his boss, he cuts along with two flagship 8 series case combines. They go a little faster than him with his 30 foot header to their 40, but he still manages to keep up. Sorry about the audio, I misplaced my Rode microphones and had to use the GoPro's built in mic. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys have a good one. This guy's a custom farmer, custom cutter. He's a custom cutter, works for a farmer. What's your name? Hunter Carter. Hunter Carter. So he works for this anonymous farmer here. And this is his combine. It's a, uh, what year is it? 96. 96, 1996 John Deere, 90 what? 600. 9600. So it's an old one and it's full. We know because it says so, it dinged right here. It's not that old. So you're planning on starting a custom farming operation eventually one day? That's our plan. Buying tractors, buying equipment? Yeah. Farming. Doing the actual farming, because most people don't know this, but landlords don't normally farm. They just own land. They don't farm it. Some do. Some farmers own land, but most don't own land. <laughs> people get that confused. Like, oh, you're a farmer. How much land do you have? I'm like, none. Yeah. <laughs> I don't own any land. I own equipment. Oh, well, that's not a farm. This equipment is the farm. Uh -huh. The farming is done with the equipment. It's not done with the land. It's done to the land. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, I call everybody that works for a farm a farmer. Everybody that does farming is a farmer. Yeah. So this thing's, this thing's been cutting wheat then for longer than you've been alive. All the ladies out there, look out. He's 18. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a combine of his own. Not many men can say that. Especially not ones that don't have a daddy to give them a combine. Oh. Yeah. But that all the accompanying drone shots, the green combine is yours. Yep. yep. The smoky green one's yours and then the red combines <laughs> are your bosses. Yep. What a cool gig though. I know. Right? Yeah. yeah. That feels the new one. This one over here? Yeah. That one's next. Yeah, So you don't have a truck. Yeah, it might be one over the hill. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's nice about these short augers, you can just put them out. As long as you don't run into anything with them, they're not like sitting there yep. 30 feet bouncing in the wind. 9250s, I'll have one of those eventually. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, one day you'll upgrade, but it's a lot cheaper to fix this than to fix anything new. New combines cost like 1.2 million. You just walk into the cafe or RDO these days, and it's just a thousand bucks. Open the door and they're like, oh, oh yeah, a thousand bucks, no matter what. Yeah, like, oh, you want parts? Too, How or? much you pay for this? Oh, it was around 20. 20, yeah. 20 thousand dollars. You guys, if you got 20 thousand, maybe somebody lets you cut their weed. <laughs> well, thank you, Carter. Yeah. Uh, Mr. 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 Carter, Hunter Carter. You got two first names, bro. <laughs> yeah, you come meet Loretta. Hey, dog. It's not his dog. This is Chap Dog. It's Combine Chief. 